Welcome back, Badass Babes. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I thought I would do a spend a chill day with me. It'd probably actually be filmed over a couple of days, but I thought, why not? Just because at the moment, I'm not actually doing much the next couple of days, so I thought it'd just be really, really chill just to see what I get up to. Um, it also includes a little sheen haul, so stay tuned for that. But before I get into the video, don't forget to pop a like and subscribe. And if you have any social medias or channels that you would like me to follow, just comment them down below. And if you follow me, I'll follow you back. Without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. So, I thought I would just show you this, just I just had these come through the door. I basically, we moved into our house that we're in now, my boyfriend and I, in February. So this is going to be our first Christmas living alone in our, in our house. So obviously we need to get all Christmas decorations and everything. And I've seen these and I think they are absolutely stunning. They are stockings. So I got one like whitey sort of colour and one grey. So I'll take them out now and have a little look. Also again I apologise that my voice is not right. Currently it's not all there. So if I am annoying you with my blocked nose then sorry. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I actually bought these off AliExpress. I think they were about £1.19 each. Something along that sort of line, but I'll have a little look. And if I can find some similar, I will um, pop them down below, a link. I absolutely love these. I'm thinking this one's right and this one's mine. But I wanted to go for quite neutral because I'm thinking that my Christmas decorations this year are going to be very, very neutral. Um, and I want whites and pinks. So, yes, very neutral and plain. Just love it. So that's why I went for these. Plus, how cute are they? I absolutely love them. They're such good quality as well for how cheap they actually were. Do you know what? I know I could probably get these from like B&M and that, but I only, I think I only ordered these about a week ago and I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed. I'm just so looking forward to putting them up now and putting up the Christmas tree. I mean, I absolutely love summer. I'm 100% a summer girl. But this year, for some reason, I'm actually so looking forward to autumn, so I'm looking forward to pumpkins, pumpkin picking, pumpkin carving, Halloween, Christmas, bonfire night, full fashion, wearing big coats and scarves and layering. I don't know why, I don't normally look forward to this weather because it's not a bit of me at all. Like I said, 100% sun girl. But this year, I'm so excited. I don't know why, I just don't, but I have been watching quite a lot of Ellie Darby and Gemma Louise Miles videos and they also love autumn, I've been watching like they get ready for autumn with us and their previous videos from like Christmas and that and it sort of got me really really excited. I think it's more so because like I said we're in our own home so we have to decorate completely and the Christmas presents are coming from both of us this year so yeah, that's another thing. I've actually pretty much finished Christmas present shopping already. I know it's September, but this girl is prepared. I thought, you know what, if I get it done now, it's done, there's no panicking. If I have last minute bits I wanna buy, I can do that. And then also I don't need to worry about Christmas shopping. In December I can just enjoy it and just enjoy spending time with friends and family because the presents and everything are already done. So that is stress free, they're pretty much all wrapped, they're in the attic, ready to go. But also, just before I go to the next clip, which I don't actually know where it's going to be at the moment, but can I just say, I am obsessed with this jumper. I bought it from Primark probably about three weeks ago now, I think it was £11. I absolutely love it. I've got it in a, I think this is a large, so I'm normally a size 10 to 12 and I think I got it in a 12 to 14, I think. Um, just because I like a big oversized jumper but it's insane if you can see on the inside it's sort of like a fluffy material 
so it's super super comfy I absolutely love it and I know they had um, I think there was like a just off white and brown sort of color and there was another color there as well but I can't think what it was um, 100% worth the money and they're probably still in Primark now so if you do love this as much as I love it which I'm sure you will because it's insane then I would definitely pop over to Primark ASAP to go and bag yours up now but yeah that is pretty much it I thought I'd just show you the stockings and then I started waffling on like I usually do um, but I'll probably just update you at some point throughout the day when I decide to clean or when I have something going on that I think might be any sort of interesting to a certain extent back. And I thought I would do a little sheen haul for you. So I've got, I think, about five items. I have actually, I got a bit excited, so I have actually taken them. I just realised, I think my camera's wonky. Um, I have actually taken them out of the packaging and some are hung up and I've tried them on already so but I thought it'd be easier oh, I've got a notification I thought it would be easier because then obviously I can tell you how it fits how it feels and then obviously I'll show you um, what they look like on as well but I'll just talk through them all first so the first item I got was this shirt I sort of gone for like reasonably smart kind of stuff. I don't actually know why. I just was in one of those moods. So I've gone for this, not really a shirt, but like a blouse. So it's half, half. I have no idea what this bit is. I think it's to pull it in so it makes it a bit more fitted. So it go inside, there's a button inside, pull it in, make it more fitted, which I really like. But it's really, really oversized. Um, it's got some long sleeves and they've got a little button so they're kind of like cuffed at the end. But I think this will look really, really nice, sort of undone, to probably where it is done, undone on the hanger, and then put in some jeans with a black belt and some long boots. That'll be really, really nice. I just wanted to look a little bit more smarter. So I've got that first. I absolutely love this. To be honest, I have no idea what this pattern is. It looks a little bit different on the Sheen website, but do you know what? It came, I tried it on, great fit. It's the size, I got a large, which I think is a 12 to 14. So I would say um, go with your size. But it is a little bit oversized, so obviously if you want something a little bit more fitted, then maybe size down. So that's the first item. <clears throat> My throat. My voice is going. The second item I got is also like a blouse, but this one is a cropped blouse. And it's got tiger prints on it. Um, on the model, this looked absolutely stunning. So she actually had it undone pretty much all the way, tucked into a pair of jeans. So this is the same sort of thing that I want to do with this, um, is basically wear it not particularly like this. But do you know, it's actually giving me pyjama vibes. Like if they'd done shorts that were in the exact same material as this, with the tiger print, I'd probably just wear it as pyjamas instead, because I love a good silk pyjama. But I do think this looked really, really nice on the model. So unbuttoned with a pair of high waist jeans and it looks so, so good. Maybe even a body chain, you never even know. But yeah, you dress it up, dress it down. I think it just looks really, really nice. And then the third thing I've got that I'm definitely gonna be keeping is, which definitely needs an iron, is this green sort of dress. I When I put it on, it was sort of um, in between a mini and a midi dress. So if it's super windy outside, I'd probably say don't, I won't be wearing it with that like jeans or something underneath. But if it's not too windy, then I can wear it. But I'll probably end up wearing this with some thigh high or knee high boots and a big jacket. What I also love about this dress, which you can't really see unless it's on, but here is actually all fitted. So it comes in at the waist. So it actually gives you a bit more of a chiseled waist. Um, I'll probably do this maybe all buttoned up. You could also do it a little bit so you have a little bit of booby on the show, which I do like, a little bit of booby. And um, it's just all like that back. You can actually see more at the back where it's pulled in, although the camera isn't showing it very well. Again, long sleeves and then buttons up the sleeves so you can pull it in on the wrist. Absolutely stunning. Love this. Again, all of those fit perfectly, and I would say go to size, but um, the dress 
they're all size 12 to 14 which is a large I do believe and um, the dress and the tiger top I would say go to size because they fit perfectly the other blouse like I said if you want it more oversized go with your size if you want it more fitted go for a size below the other items I bought were this pair of trousers they've got this to wrap around your waist when you're wearing them they're just long trousers with a little bit of flare leg at the bottom I only really wear high waist trousers because of my body shape I am more hourglass so I only really wear high waist because they come at me look bigger if I don't um, but these don't really come up high enough so I am actually sending these back again they are size 12 to 14 so I am a little bit gutted because I have pairs of trousers from Sheen similar to this which is why I bought these because I absolutely love the ones I've got and they fit perfectly but these were just a little bit small so I would probably say size up if you want a um, better fit um, but yeah unfortunately these are going back but I thought these would look absolutely stunning because of the colour I think you can see it a little bit better there but the lighting is awful because I'm just using natural light um, I think these were absolutely stunning because it's such an autumny colour with a big coat and some boots. Stunning. And my camera is about to go flat so I've just got to go really, really quick with this one. I've got this polka dot dress which is basically a wrap over dress with some frills at the bottom and frill sleeves. I absolutely loved this and I do love wrap over dresses because they just really pull you in and you can go out for a big meal and have a food baby and literally it won't even show but unfortunately this one is really really short again I bought it in size 12 to 14 which I do believe is large so I probably say the only thing is if you were to size up I feel like the actual dress would be too big um, but it is really really short and I'm not a massive fan of really short dresses so that is also going back but obviously I'll show you the items on other than the trousers and the polka dot dress just because they don't fit. But the items that do, I'll show you them on and how I would style them just so you have a little bit of an idea. Um, and yeah, I'll link the items below if you just want to go and shop them or ones I can find similar. But yeah, that's pretty much Sheen Hall. Like I said, it was really, really short. I just bought a few items, so I thought I'd show you and let you know what Good I Good morning, and I'm back. And today is Sunday, and we are going to be popping out for Ryan's just out. When he comes back, we're going to be popping out to get some food and just do some, just get some little bits and bobs that we need. So I thought I'd just do a quick outfit of the day for you. Oh, there we go. So I am wearing, once it decides to focus, there we go, and my pocket is out. I'm wearing this little black top from Boohoo and this belt, I'm pretty sure I got it from Primark, with some wide leg jeans from A New Look. And I've currently got my sliders on and my autumnal bits around, but um, I will be wearing some black boots with the outfit. And I'm also going to be popping a hat on. But yeah, so that's all we're doing today. Then we're just coming home and having a really, really chilled day today. And again, it's not focusing. There we go. Do you know what? I've just realised this vlog is very, like, mixed match. It's a bit of, like, all over the place. But do you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Because I thought I'd just do a really, really chilled one. It is just a really chilled vlog. So whilst I'm waiting for Ryan now to come back, I'm going to do some manifestations. And then I'll probably film some TikToks ready to go up. So if you're not following me on TikTok, don't forget to look down below in the description and follow me on there. And then we're going to go out shopping, so I'll take the camera with me. I'm not too sure how much memory I've got left on the camera. Um, but I'll try and film some bits if I see anything that's Halloween or Terminal that I think definitely needs to be in the vlog. And I'll show you what's new in Home Bargains, Aldi's um, and B&M. So now back from the shopping trip. And I thought I'd just show you a couple of things we bought. We actually bought a lot more than this. But I just thought the main things, obviously. So I have actually put these in a haul that I've done before from Home Bargains. This is a B&M slash Home Bargains haul. And... I said I would let you know what I thought of them. Banging. They are honestly so good. And like I said before, this whole box, you can eat the whole box, and it's only 
160 calories. I thought we went down then. <laughs> it's only 160 calories for this whole box. And they honestly taste so good. And they're only 49p. So of course I've got a few boxes of those to pop in the cupboard for when I want a bit of a sweet snack. It's sort of like, um, I can't think what they're called, the brand. But they're just the sticks with a bit of yoghurt and or chocolate and Oreos on the end. Put this done in. I also got... Um, skinny chocolate brownie mix because I've been wanting to make chocolate brownies for ages but I always find the problem is obviously you make them you then gotta eat them so I decided to get the skinny mix so I could make some brownies and feel guilt free so I'm gonna probably do this in the week so when I do of course I will film it so I can bake them with you those were both from actually I got this from b and I think it was $1.99 I got these from Home Bargains I also got, oh, Aldi's as well. I've got this pomegranate candle from Aldi's. I actually heard that apparently this smells like the White Company candle. It smells really good to be fair. Um, I haven't actually smelt the White Company one, so I'm not 100% sure if it actually does smell anything like it, but it was only three pounds for this size double wick candle, and it smells insane, so I'm super excited to get this lit tonight so that was from Aldi's and I also got another candle because at the moment I am obsessed and I thought I'd go for a little bit something a little bit more festive we're just waiting for that to focus and it's decided not to but I got the gingerbread Wickford and co from home bargains it's not my favorite scent ever that's why I've only got a small one um but I, I definitely I can't remember the exact price but I know it's definitely under a pound so that is an absolute bargain but it does smell quite nice and I think when it's burning it'll just make the house smell really festive. So I'll probably leave this for a couple of weeks and then put this on probably towards the end of October. And now going on to some cleaning products. I needed to update my cleaning cupboard a little bit. I think all of these... I'll start with the one that I know is from Home Bargains. The rest are from B&M. There's only four other items left so it's just a little haul today. I got this Seflora Multi-Purpose Disinfectant Cleaner in Winter Spice from Home Bargains and I haven't actually smelt it, i just seen it and I thought, you know what, I've got to try this. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I've never actually used any of this before but... I'm so excited. I feel we literally cleaned the house yesterday top to bottom like a full clean. But I feel like doing it again this afternoon just so I can use this. And it's got up to 24 hour fragrance so we will see. But so so excited to use this now especially considering I've smelled it and it smells insane. So get yourselves two. I think there's only $1.99 as well. I think it was quite a good price. Um, so get yourselves two home bargains to go and grab that now. And then from B&M I also got a few more um, little bits. I got this Fabulosa, um, it's a shop can air freshener and sanitizer, absolutely love this, so I don't, I don't actually know, it's got persuasive, I don't know if this is actually scented or not, but I thought I definitely need one of these, and then again a little bit more festive, I've got the Ultra Fast Winter Sparkle Multi Purpose Cleaner. And again, I haven't smelt this. Um, it says limited edition and it's got really, really festive pictures on the front. So let's have a smell of this. Because that one was winter spice and this one's winter sparkle. So let's see. Ooh. To be honest, it doesn't, it smells nice, but it just smells like everyday cleaning products. It doesn't really smell, if anything, it smells a little bit zesty rather than winter sparkly. But it still smells good, so I'm not complaining. But I don't think it's a very festive smell. That's just my personal opinion. But I picked this up from B&M. And then my last item I'm so excited to try is the Seflora Frosted Peppermint. And it's in the big bottle. I think it's $3.99. So it's in this bottle. And I'm honestly so excited to try that. I'm definitely need, gonna need to reclean the house. <laughs> Probably later on, if not, I might actually do a clean with me so you can see what I get up to within the week. 
so I've got that as well and now I'm going to enjoy my lunch I'm going to have some rolls that I picked up from Morrison's with some bacon um, a little brioche bun and a cup of tea and then later on tonight we're gonna order a kebab and just sit down and watch some films so I will just update you throughout the day, but I am going to pop this pomegranate candle on now and let you know a little bit later if it actually smells as good as it does in here. Because I do find that some candles they can be really, really strong in the actual jar, and then when you light them, they're not really that strong. And um, my, Yan my Yankee candle one, um, which is the clean cotton, which I've used to death now, I've only got a little bit left, so I did need to update my everyday candle. So I'm thinking if this one works then this is going to be the chosen one so I'm going to pop this on in a minute and I will have a little see to whether or not this is worth the price and whether or not it actually smells the house out in a good way of course but yeah that is all for my little haul now and as soon as I come back don't even know what I'm talking about but that is all for my haul right now and I will update you soon now the evening guys I've had my dinner or sorry my lunch I've had my lunch a shower I've had washed my hair and I am now in my pajamas but can I just say I don't think this is actually a pajama top I think it's a jumper from I saw it first but I use it as a pajama top and I absolutely love it it's just a cropped jumper and I wear it with some brown cycle shorts um, I just going to put a load of washing on now, do some dishes, and then we're gonna order the kebab and chill. So I think that is going. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I literally I can't even breathe. I just ran up the stairs, and I go to the gym pretty much every single day. So that's great. Evidently, I need to go more and do more cardio. <laughs> Whew. Okay, as I was saying. Um, I think that's going to go ahead and conclude today's video. I am so sorry, it was very random, wasn't really a lot going on, but I hope that you've seen a few things in my B&M haul and my Sheen haul that maybe you would like. I'll try and link as much as I can down below that I can think of that I mentioned throughout the video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed and I'm looking forward to the few upcoming videos that I've got. I've got a few weekends away, I've got Halloween, I've got my boyfriend's birthday um, and then obviously we got Christmas so I am going to be vlogging it all, I really hope. <laughs> um, sometimes I just vlog and I just think, do you know what, I can't even put this up. Like this isn't even the best footage but they've been worse than this and I think I can't even I can't even put myself I can't even expose myself this much on YouTube but yeah thank you guys ever so ever so much for watching if you have got this far then thank you and I'm shocked but don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below if there's anything that you want to see um or like I've said at the beginning of the video if you're a YouTuber or you want me to follow any of your social medias give my social media a follow and I'll follow you back thank you guys and I hope you have a really good Sunday evening